Today I'm fixing a control cable for a mech scissor lift. This is a really common issue. This is a control cable that goes from the platform up to your platform control box. And guys tend to step on these cords and they rip all these wires out of the plug. Right there. So these are a Deutsch plug. They require a special little pin, which are these little round Deutsch pins. And today I'm going to show you how to get them out of the connector and how to crimp them. And we need some special tools for that. That's a crimp tool for those pins. And these guys here are the tools that you need to remove the pin. So let me chalk this cable up in the vise and I'll show you how this works. You don't need a vise to do this, I just need more hands. Okay, so in this case, all the pins were still in here, but they were all ripped off. I crimped one back on just for demonstration purposes to show how this is done. But the first thing you're gonna need to do if that happens is you're gonna need to get all those pins out of here. So the way this works is, on your pin, there's a little shoulder there. There's a shoulder right there. And inside the connector, there are little plastic tabs that sit against the shoulder like that at an angle. And those plastic tabs hold it in there. So when that shoulder jams up against that tab, it can't go any farther back. And that's why you can't pull these out. So in order to get this out of the connector, you have to fold those tabs down. And in order to do that, you need a special tool. These ones that I have, are Texton. There's the part number there, 588, if you want to get a set of those. Uh, there's three different sizes, and what happens is they have this slotted shank on them, which with the wire slides into there like so, and then you slide this guy forward. This is really hard to do with only one hand, but you slide this guy forward like that, right up to that shoulder, and as it jams against the shoulder, it flattens those tabs out, and then you can pull the wire out the back side. So I'll demonstrate that now on this one pin that's left to come out of here. So you can see that pin down inside there, you're going to take your slotted shank and you're going to get it right around there. And sometimes you're going to have wire sticking out and so you have to go along the wire and poke it down like I showed before. You just push this right down, right until it can't go anymore. Now if you have a wire hanging out the bottom, you can grab that wire and kind of pull while you push this in. But in this case we don't have wire, so I have to push on the top side of the pin with a screwdriver or whatever. And you're just gonna you're gonna push them kind of together and slowly twist this thing back and forth until those pins re those tabs release and it'll pop down like that and there's your pin. Sometimes they can be terrible to get out of there. Now you need your special crimping tool, which is this guy here. And I don't know if you can see inside there well enough or not, but if I squeeze these in, you can kind of see those little draws, those little teeth. And what those guys do is they come in here and they make those little crimp marks on the pin and they crimp the wire inside there. So you have an adjustment on this end that you can turn in and out to set the depth of your pin. When you drop your pin in, you use that to set how high it sits in there and that determines where your crimp mark is gonna be on your pin. So let's do one. All right, I got my wires set up in the vise here to hold it so that I can use my hands for other stuff. So on your pin, you got a short side and a long side from where that collar is, right? The long side, that's the terminal end that your male pin is gonna poke into. The short side is the crimped area. You wanna strip your insulation back just far enough so it's about the same length as that crimped area up to the collar. So that when you put your pin on the wire, it stops right where the insulation stops. See that? Then you're gonna take your special crimping pliers. And you're gonna poke that thing right into the bottom. And now you can hold a little bit of pressure this way while you crimp and that'll hold everything all in place and then you just squeeze it all the way until it bottoms the tool out and when you release your pin is now crimped on there and a really nice crimp all the way around you can yank on that it's not going to come off unless of course you step on the cable and rip it off so don't step on the cable or you'll rip your pins off again and that's pretty much it we're going to do that a few more times and then repin it now, once you get your pins all crimped on there, don't forget to put the rest of the pieces of your connector together. So we got this guy that has to slide on first and your rubber. So that rubber piece with the shoulder goes inside this way. And that way that shoulder butts up against here. Let's see if I can get it in there quick. Like that. And then that whole assembly is gonna slide over top of your harness like so. Get this back in there. There we go, like that. And then you're going to take and pin these into your connector. And when you push them in, you just find the right hole in the back 
and just push it in. And once it's seated, it'll click. So once you got that all back together, then you just screw your connector back together. And then you're gonna tighten down your clamp on the end and that's it. Now I had a couple other repairs to make. This rubber was all shot on here and you don't want those wires exposed. Lots of guys put electrical tape on there and that kind of works. I like to use Canadian tape. I just find it's a little stronger. Canadian tape is otherwise known as hockey tape. The same stuff that you would use to wrap up your hockey stick. Adds a little bit of strength and uh, keeps the moisture out as well. And then also, if I go down to the other end here, we had another repair too where the insulation was broken on the, on the main cable. You could see the wires through there. Uh, the wire insulation was not broken, just the main cable. So I put a couple wraps of hockey tape on there and then some heat shrink tube that has the adhesive glue on the inside and shrunk that down. So that's a nice, strong, good fix now. Ready to go back to the customer.